Friday night lights to early morning deer stands, Anderson's General Store in Statesboro is your tailgating and hunting headquarters. Boots from Ariat, Georgia Boot, Irish Setter, Wolverine, and more, we have a pair for you. Check out our Costa and Ray-Ban sunglasses. And apparel from Columbia, Carhartt, and Drake. Dove, ducks, deer, we have all your hunting needs. And tailgate with a big green egg or Traeger grill, Pack in the flavor with delicious sauces and rubs. Haul it all home with a utility trailer. Anderson's General Store, a general store and so much more. The Bullock Academy segment is brought to you by R.J. Pope's Men's and Ladies Apparel and Anderson's General Store. And welcome to our Bullock Academy Coaches Show. I'm here with head coach of the Bullock Academy Gators, Pat Collins, and coach 2-0 on the season uh, after that season opening victory at Pine, against Pinewood at the Eric Russell Classic. You knew that the competition was going to be up a bit, taking on Edmund Burke, and they gave you guys some trouble for a while, and then you kind of really came on there in the second half. Well, Josh, it was good to get the win against Edmund Burke. Um, Edmund Burke is a fine football team. I, I warned our people, our players, and our fans all week that, that they were a senior-laden team and they were going to play us really tough and hard. And, you know, you've got to give them a lot of credit. They they were very well prepared and they came to play. And um, it was one of those situations, Josh, where I felt like that we maybe not have played our best. I don't want to take anything away from Edmund Burke. Uh, but the objective was met and the objective was to win the game. We were able to do so. You able to get Don Aaron back in the uh, game at quarterback. I know he'd been chomping at the bit to get in the week before. Uh, he had some moments. Offensively, you guys moved the ball pretty well, particularly in the second half. Did you feel like you kind of made adjustments there? or What kind of uh, things happened there? Well, I think we just settled down a little bit. When you look back at the first um, half, there were three possessions that we had. The first possession, we stopped ourselves with penalties. We were on the move and moving well, and then we had two untimely penalties. The second possession, uh, we fumbled the ball, and you can't give you can't give away the football and, and expect to do anything offensively. And then the third possession, we um, you know uh, were able to drive the length of the field. Yes, we did convert a a fake punt in there, but um, but we're able to drive the length of the field. And when you have two teams that are primarily going to run the football, possessions are at a premium. They're going to be limited. And you know there were there were three first half possessions for us. And there were four first half, I mean, second half possessions for each team. So each team only had seven possessions. You had to make the most of them. Well, you got to buy this week. Does it come at a good time? I guess you, it, sometimes when you're on a roll, you've won two in a row, you want to play again. But sometimes when you've got a quarterback who's still kind of coming back from that injury, uh, maybe it's a good time to have a break. Well, you know, it's, it's all in how we're going to use the break. Um, we, we need to get well. We've got some injuries that are lingering and some uh, two or three things that we've got to, you know, have have corrected during the off, during the off week. Um, but we still need to work on fundamentals. I mean, we, we've got to work on blocking better and tackling better. Defensively, we just missed too many tackles. So it'll be a good fundamental week. We do have a junior varsity game uh, at the end of the week with uh, Pinewood. So a lot of boys who haven't been able to play a, an awful lot of minutes will get some time to play. and. It'll give us an, an opportunity to work on our depth as well. All right, stay with us. Coming up next, we'll hear from some Gator players. We are feeling fall at RJ Pope's Men's and Ladies Apparel. With the largest selection of Georgia Southern and University of Georgia game day apparel, we make sure you're dressed to win at tailgating. When you're not cheering on your favorite team, we have your style covered. From blazers to AFCO shorts to dresses and heels, RJ Pope is your one-stop shop. Newsflash, stay tuned for the new, improved, and expanded R.J. Pope's men's and ladies this fall. Shop local, shop R.J. Pope, online and in-store at our three locations. Join me now, Jake Wazden. Jake, uh, primarily playing linebacker for Bullock Academy right, right now. I know you've had some reps there at running back a little bit too, but uh, you're able to be a big part of that fake punt that kind of got the offense going there. Your thoughts on the game uh, from this past Friday night playing Edmund Burke? Uh, it was a rough game on offense at the start, but we got it together at the second half, um, heavy on defense in the first half. As far as the defense goes, I know that's where you're kind of playing primarily. Uh, your thoughts on how the Gator defense has been doing? Um, uh, I think uh, the first game we were having a rough time on defense, but uh, We've been able to do better against Pinewood and EBA last week. 
Have you, you got a week off this week with the bye week. Does it come at a good time? Do you feel like you guys may benefit from having a, a, a little time off? Yeah, I think that's great for anybody. But um, hopefully we can uh, keep our stuff fresh on our mind. All right. Join me now, linebacker Brandon Faircloth. And Brandon, you guys are coming off a big win over Edmund Burke. Uh, the week before, you knocked off Pinewood. How do you feel like you guys are playing right now? I feel like we're playing great. You know, we, uh, we stepped up as a team. We came together for the last three games, and we've just been rocking and rolling. All right, as far as the defense goes, uh, how do you feel like you guys have done? You know, first game, Pinewood, you pretty much had them shut out and kept them on their side of the 50 for most of the game. Edmund Burke, a little bit tougher team, a little better running back there. How do you feel like you guys are doing? Good. We, uh, Pinewood was, it was an easier game, but I mean, we still, still had a lot of things to work on. EBA came out, they performed pretty well. But that second half, we, uh, we got it together and, uh, Put away with a win. Football is a little new for you. You've kind of been on the diamond uh, more. That's where you've usually been. Uh, how's football going? I love it. Love it. Wouldn't change it for anything. You guys got a bye week this week. Do you feel like it comes at a good time to get a little bit of rest before you uh, got Memorial the next week? Of course, of course. It's always good to take off for a whole week, practice, get as good as you can, and go out next week and perform. All right. That's the Bullock Academy players. Stay with us. Much more to come in just a moment.